Joe talks about Joe. And now, your host, Joe Slepsky. And welcome back to Joe on Joe. It's me, your host, Joe Slepsky. And normally this is the only show where we watch every episode of G.I. Joe in sequential order and comment on it mystery science style. But today and last week and probably next week too, we're watching the public service announcements. We're not doing a regular episode of the show today. We are watching the uh, 30 second PSAs that used to follow the G.I. Joe show back in the day. Now. If you didn't listen to last week's, I urge you to go back in time and listen to last week's episode. First of all, because you might be putting yourself at risk with some social dangers that the PSAs would have taught you. And second of all, and most importantly, uh, you need to listen to my guests, my returning guests, first outing with the PSAs, my wife, Miss Rebecca Wallen Zach Slepsky. Rebecca, Rebecca, welcome back to Joe and Joe. Your wife. My wife. Hi. Uh, probably. 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 <laughs> and she is back, and we are yeah. going to watch more PSAs. Did you have fun watching the PSAs last week? I did. I did. And I feel like I'm making better choices this week. Much better choices. Did you find yourself bullying anyone? Well, I mean, that's what I do. I just felt bad about it finally. So there's okay, that. that's a, that's a step in the right, right direction. Right. Yeah, you feel bad. And I did not pick up any children, <laughs> no, asking them for candy. No, no stranger dangers. Okay. Nope. And I did not get impaled with any uh, construction s- such things. I didn't jump off any construction sites. And did you run any trains or run to any cross any train tracks uh, haphazardly? I'll plead the fifth. Plead the fifth. We'll listen. I was very happy with how we did last week. I thought it was great. Yeah. It was fun. So this week we're doing it once again, and we're playing the game called uh, Plausible, Stupid, or Awesome with mm-hmm. the PSAs. What's my, what's me? Um, Plausible, Stupid, or Awesome? <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, since we're recording, we're live. Um, you're awesome. Oh, yeah. I see what you did there. You see what I did there? Mean. Yeah. So, um, you know, we said everything there is to say about the PSAs last week. Mm-hmm. So I say without any further ado, let's jump in. Do it. And see how many we knock out today. I love it. We are watching the same video compilation that we did last week on YouTube under the uh, YouTube uploader's Phantom Beast General. It's called G.I. Joe PSA Compilation. And uh, we are picking up from where we started last week. So the previous one was Hawk warning the kids to stay off the train tracks. Very vehemently yes. warning the kids yeah. to stay off the train tracks. Like, 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 get off the train tracks. Like, the, he Is that was how he not, sounded? Yeah, that, he's that's... not fooling around. Wow, I mean, if you yeah. could, I wish there was a visual on this one because yeah. he was going to this town This should have been a one. video pod. So good. Uh, the next one we are going to watch, uh, get ready for it. Okay. Set. And here we go. Hey, Joey, watch this. You'll only add more weight. Snow job. job! Find something that'll reach. This branch ought to work. Remember, frozen ponds and rivers may not be totally frozen. And we could be skating on thin ice. Now, now we know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! His name is Snow Job? Okay, yes. His name is Snow Job. <laughs> His name is Snow Job. His you name never, is Snow you've, Job. You've not encountered Snow Job yet? Why, why would I encounter Snow Job? <laughs> well, how, would, how would that happen? His name is Snow Job. Uh, he, a, a version of him currently lives in this house. I have one. I've, he was one of my fir- first Joes. He exists in this home. You don't, you're probably not even aware of it. No. Um, he's a fan favorite. He's a big favorite of mine. He came with skis. Grown and ski adult poles. people named him named that and him thought it was hilarious. Probably I can't wait for all the kids to talk about <laughs> playing with their snow job. I'm going to give you snow job. Can I, can I tell you, uh, can I tell you something absolute honesty without any, like, any kind of retroactive uh, revisions? I never put that connotation to it literally until we started this podcast and i'm not joking you really i am not joking you're just a oh no innocent i am sweet the furthest thing from an innocent sweet anything yeah. i never put those together in my head because i think because when i was a kid the first time i encountered it on the file card is that they say he, they call him snow job because he's a con artist like mm, he can pull a, like, a snow yeah, job, do a snow yeah. job on you, like pull one over on you so 
that burned into my brain mm-hmm. and I never really You're not and thinking I'm, of it. Yeah. I yeah. am being yeah. Another this is not angle. Saying it just to say it. I never until we started doing this podcast and then he came up in an episode and just like you just did, one of my guests was like, snow job. Burr. And my brain kind of kind of broke. And I and I didn't say it on what? I didn't say it on the air, but I went, Oh my God. I never thought year. of that. <laughs> so let's take a look at the uh, logistics of the PSA itself. Yes. So a bunch of kids on ice. So right. immediately you're cutting off. Scared. Yeah. You're immediately cutting off half the nation who doesn't have to deal with open frozen ice. It's like Jamaican bobsledders. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it is a good PSA. I, 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 I would rank this as plausible, not necessarily awesome, but plausible. It, it slides into the awesome a little bit because they did use snow job on a snow based thing. You know, like they could have normally snow. Well, he's their snow. Their snow. Oh, so he does a snow job that he's a trickster, but also he works in snow. Yeah. Like that look in his white outfit with the skis, like that's his action figure. So he is their snow specialist. So the fact that they used him in the snow, I know that sounds like it makes total sense, but you'd be surprised how often on the show, like they go to the Arctic and they got a guy with no shirt running around because (laughs) they wanted to use him in that episode. So I definitely give it points for that. Um, it's definitely not stupid, but I would just go plausible because there's nothing super crazy about it. What about yourself? I mean, uh, there's only a couple that are awesome, but this is, I mean, it's important. It's an it important is. thing. And it it's is. don't mess around on the ice, you dummies. And then there's someone who's like, ah, I mean, he didn't use the word turkey. If you use turkey, I would like him even better. <laughs> but he's just like, whatever. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. he's making fun of them. Then he falls. And then you instantaneously want to go on the ice to help him. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Snowdrop was like, no, it, it, you know, you you could all die. But you're like, but if I leave my friend, that's shitty. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's really good advice. Yeah. Is it awesome advice? Sure. It's plausible. I would just leave it a plausible. Sure. Not to sway your vote. I mean, it's important. Okay. Can it be a PSI? In PS important? <laughs> PS, it's also important. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Um, have you ever been caught out on uh, like cracked ice? I never have, uh, but my mom scared the living bejesus out of me that it would happen. Yeah. So um, we only lived near, uh, well, I guess there was a a crick um uh sort of in the back uh wooded area when I was little mm-hmm. and so that was like an issue that you could actually ha- you know it could actually come up but then growing up in Dayton we were near like a small river but we never really went down there so that wasn't anything we really I mean it's more about the ice uh, on your sidewalk that's going to crack your head on it's Oh more, yeah I know. definitely yeah we definitely used to fall How I, about you? I I've I feel nothing like that. Nothing like on a lake, and if you fell through, you would be dead. I've mm-hmm. never been in that situation, but I've definitely like we've definitely tr- tried to cross ice. I mean, I've, I've done it uh, hunting. You know, mm. like when you're out there and it's cold, and you're trying to cross some stuff, and you're like, mm. "All right, can I?" And then you fall through, but like to your ankle. So mm. nothing where uh, Billy or Joey or <laughs> Tommy would have to come out and uh, and rescue me. So snow job would have to come after you. Yeah. Oh my God, that would be listen. If that if I knew that would happen. We would not be living in California. We'd be living in like Alberta, and I would constantly be hanging out on the ice waiting for no, it to crack. No, you would be dating Snow Job because uh, Absolutely. I live in sunny California done now. And done. There's a reason. All right, well, let's move on to the next one. And here we go. Boy, what a great campsite. Yeah, here's more wood for the fire. No, my balls are on fire. Run for the stream. Don't run. Here, let me wrap this around you. You okay? Lucky thing you were around, spirit. Lucky thing you didn't run. Remember, running only makes the fire worse. If your clothes catch fire, wrap yourself in a rug or blanket. And roll on the ground to smother the flames. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! I really thought it was going to start with him peeing in the fire. (laughs) I really thought it was going to be like, that is a terrible idea, young man. It is a terrible idea. Because... uh, the, what they don't tell you about peeing in fire is that that pee quickly turns into yellow steam mm-hmm. and it hits you right in the face, mm-hmm. as we found out the hard way in high school. All of you did it at some point. Didn't yes, you? we all stood on top of a big post football game at the fire. same time. Yeah, we were all like, oh. let's pee, let's pee in the fire. And this big billowous, cl- I mean, it wasn't, you know, weird, but it was just a bunch of us. And we, and, you know, and uh, oh my God, it was the grossest thing. And it ne- that literally was the first time it dawned on us that, oh yeah. It just turns to, to to yellow steam. I just boys and peeing together, like it's just I just I don't I it ah uh, 
I, paints I, quite a picture, doesn't it? Well, I mean, yes, it's more difficult for girls to go <laughs> pee out in nature. <laughs> but just like, hey, guys, you know what? I'm going to... We're just no, gonna go pee we were, on some fire. We were putting the bonfire out. We were actually doing our doing our social service like the right thing. We were putting the fire out with your peens. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, why waste? You all know? right. We're, we're, we were green before green was cool. <laughs> so first of all, in this PSA, spirit jumps out like a ninja, mm-hmm. like out of nowhere. I would say like a native. Native American. Okay, yeah. Well, he indigenous o- who's very comfortable with the, yeah, the well, land. They, they have him fight Storm Shadow on the show a lot. They're, and they're, Storm Shadow and Storm Shadow's the ninja. Storm Shadow's the legit ninja. So he shows up like a, you know, like ah, like out of nowhere. Like, mm-hmm. Look out, kid! Mm-hmm. You're straight up on fire. I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my arm has caught on fire. That kid's jacket went up like flambe. Like yeah, it was. It was before there were regulations, and now there aren't any. So well, yeah, there'll be children yeah, ablaze. All, yeah, that's the, that's what we have to look forward mm-hmm. to here is that all the corporate regulations are being repealed. Mm-hmm. So pretty soon this PSA is going to come in vogue again. Mm-hmm. And, and and children are going to be running around and fired. Retardant? Fi- fire, retardant? Fire, retardant. Um, we don't use the R word. Stop it. No, it's fire, uh, fly- just straight flammable. Flammable oh, jackets. Oh, it will be flammable. Yeah. yeah, it will be flammable jackets. They're arsenic. Or, or, not arsenic. Arson, 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 arson jackets, arson jackets. Yeah. It's an arson brand line of jackets. arsenic. All of a sudden, is, I'm like, okay, arsenic, yeah, no. which is what I think that kid was playing. Now, I like to think that actually that's that spirit was out there like camping with them as a guide, you know, mm. like like he was that's what he was doing. He wasn't just skulking mm. and kind of hanging out, waiting for these kids to catch on fire. And then well, he, I mean, he could, I mean, yes, I think it's a good idea, but I don't think he would have been skulking. I mean, maybe he was tracking, maybe he was doing maybe he was something, tracking the children. No. <laughs> Uh, no, <laughs> like maybe he's got his own life and there just oh, happens to be okay. kids around. Like maybe it's not the focus of the children. Maybe he's a Native American on his native land and he's living his life on the reservation. He's like, what are these kids doing on a reservation? Oh, they're lighting themselves on fire. That's right. what they're doing. Yeah. He does give great advice. Yes. You know, very smother good. Smother it. Stop, drop, roll. That mm-hmm. whole thing. Like that. I think I, in theory, know about the smothering it, but I would have just dropped and rolled yeah. without looking for something to put on it. Yeah. So it, it, actually, I learned take, I learned something. Did you ever take a like uh, either CPR or fire class or something like it that? Took CPR. CPR. Yeah. We, I remember for CPR. us it was both those lessons. They were all kind of rolled into one. I think. Mm. I just uh, I just remember stop, drop, and roll. That's yeah. all. We used to have the fire department come to our school or they yeah they, i think they did it at school they would set up like this um it was a fire department day mm. it was all about fire safety mm. and you'd go from room to room and they would show you like how to deal with stuff around the house like if this mm. if this catches on fire wow. house, or this is how you stop drop and roll or mm. whatever and uh, like they would do so like, when oh. i start to set fires with my arson jacket yeah you'll be ready for it um i came in second place in the Chicago Ridge Fire Safety Awareness Contest. Who got first? Um, I believe it was Danny. Do we like him? I do like Danny. If you listen, <laughs> Danny. I do like you. We have our differences of opinion politically, but I like Danny. And uh, But I remember mine uh, was a complete ripoff of Ghostbusters. It was Firebusters. And it was a poster with uh, a flame uh, behind a, a big red X. You're and that cute. passed for victory. In Chicago Ridge. That's a parody. Parody's sure, good. Yeah, it was like 1985. You were comedy, comedy yeah, before your time. Sure. I'm gonna give this an awesome because not only does Spirit absolutely show up out of nowhere like a murderer in the night, but then he pulls a out murderer. A, Why is the Native American guy got to be the well, murderer? Good, good guys don't skulk. He's not murdering them. He's not he's, skulking. Oh, trust me, Spirit can skulk. Spirit's awesome. By the, I love Spirit. Don't get me wrong. He can skulk. Then. He busts out the blanket. Maybe he's out at night talking to the ancestors in the sky, the stars. Yeah, I think you're onto something. But I'm giving it an awesome. So what about you? Awesome. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right. Awesome. Well, here we go. On to the next one. You're just a girl. No kidding. Go ho! Let her try. You might be surprised. Okay, but thanks. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Don't judge people till you give them a chance. Because there's a chance you could be wrong. Now we know. And no one is half the battle. G.I. Joe. Rebecca, I will leave it to you. Uh, feminism aside, yay, happy that he stuck up for her. But that guy looks like he's cruising. <laughs> let's just 
shirtless with well, a yeah, vest. That's gung ho. That's and, gung ho. That's and, his look. Yeah, yeah and that's his, his look. He's got a good look. Yeah, he. Yeah, he, he's uh, got a good look. He's cruising sure. the park. <laughs> oh, he's cruising the park. Yeah, he's cruising. <laughs> he's out cruising, and while he was out cruising, he noticed the the uh, <laughs> the jerk boys being uh, misogynists. Okay, okay. My take on Gung Ho is that he is so masculine, he doesn't mind looking like he's out cruising. Because he's just all he's so masculine he's, he's that no man. shirt can stay on no him. Shirt only can, a there's vest. No, listen, no no cotton poly blend can contain the 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 raw magnetism that is gung ho. That's my take on gung ho, and always has been. Mm-hmm. So what what do you say about the the message? Um, I mean, it's You're awesome. Like, this is right it's, in your wheelhouse. It's, it's my wheelhouse. Uh, it's the way that women are treated all the time, even when we're girls. You're just a girl. She just was quiet, and then she just. There was a grace about her. There was a power and grace about her. She didn't need to fight. She didn't cry. She just went to town and showed them, Hello, I'm Antoinette Hawk. <laughs> I do think this PSA uh, is very resonant mm-hmm. in this, uh, this complicated political time that mm-hmm. we have right now. Well, they didn't like, No, you're just a girl. Look at my... P-. Like, they didn't do that. <laughs> Oops, it fell out. True. They did not end this rousing uh, bout of uh, skateboarding with um, whipping their thing out. Right. And and asking for favors. That is true. So that right. is a little bit different right. than what we're currently dealing with. Three of those d- kids uh, went on to become senators. Yes. 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 And that young lady is- lost an election yeah. <laughs> last <laughs> November. It's a young Gloria Allred. <laughs> <laughs> She does shred, though. She, she does shred. D- Gloria she does all shred. All shred. She does shred on that bike. Skateboard. Yeah, skateboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you a skateboarder? No, but I had crashes on the boys who did. Yuck. Mm. Were, there, were there like a gangs of skateboarders? No. San Francisco or Dayton? Dayton. Dayton. Um, no, it just, it, there was just only a couple of them who did, and I just liked those boys, and I hung out with them. I was, yeah. Were they like... Um, did they dress like, were they like the skateboarders in the movie Rad? You I don't know, even like, remember. With like a young Josh Brolin with the cut off sleeves and the and the bandanas. And like, were they that kind of skateboarder? Or were they, just, they were just Midwest dudes who skateboarded? Well, we, I mean, yeah, probably. They, they, they probably were like Rad. I mean, we went to Catholic school. So I would mostly see them after skateboarding home after school when yeah. we would go sit at and get Mountain Dews. And possibly uh, some sort of uh, chocolate treat or something at the the docks, which docks. isn't. It's just a, it's just a store, but oh, you could okay. like drive up in in Ohio. You you have drive throughs, but this one you drove up to, and we would sit on the quote unquote docks, and the boys would mountain don't. <laughs> I've uh, never really been able to successfully skateboard. I can't even, even at my height of physical whatever yeah, dexterity not, like i can't roller skate anymore really? like uh, i could roller skate well i used to be able to roller skate but not like um rollerblading yeah i i, I rollerbladed a lot that was cool but i, I or i was able to do I, that but I, I skateboarding done yeah i don't I, have any of this not yeah like one of my cousins really really great he's six four and he totally can do it really yeah it, it seems like it shouldn't work but it does i think this one falls in the awesome category i mean it's a great message yeah yeah and you got shirtless gung-ho that's I, not I like, awesome. I like that their choice of gung ho is is the Joe that they choose because he's hanging out at the park, as yeah. you say. Or you know he's yes queen, like you know what I mean. Like he's like <laughs> you go ahead and you skate. Go ahead, girl, do your stuff. Yeah, I'm down with it. I'm done. Plus, here's the thing: if you give this message, and I think this is my yeah, this is my this is my take on it. If if Scarlet comes out and mm-hmm. drops this message. In one ear, out the other. They're like place. a lady. Like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Hashtag, right? Mm-hmm. Even though like this was 25 years before hashtags. <laughs> that um, would have just been number sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- having a big, burly, just a gumbo-loving dude come out and be like, you guys got to listen to her because she's mm-hmm. pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. I think that sends a stronger message. Well, of course. Yeah, and I think it, that's, it, that's it a also good choice. Just, it's a good choice, and it also shows that, just like the first show, boys are jerks. Well, Boys are dummy jerks. Okay, hopefully the hopefully the next one is is just women 
just like Bleeding. stay out of the kitchen oh, it's sorry. our domain i'm like boys can cook too <laughs> All right, so I'm giving it an awesome. You're giving it an awesome? Yeah. All right, here we go with the next one. I'll never learn to ski, especially if you quit trying. Scarlet! You'll never win if you give in. But I just can't do it. Can you ride a bike? Well, sure I can. But could you at first? No, I had to practice for weeks. I think I'm getting the hang of it. That's because you hung in there. Now I know. Knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! Okay. Scarlet in the lake with a strange girl making sure that she knows how to water ski. It would be a totally different PSA if it was a little boy and a man. <laughs> yes. So it works yes, that it it's works. like, okay, yes. come on. You this know. is a must. Yeah. I mean, a lady saying that to a kid and a little girl would go, oh, okay. You know, she's the pretty red-headed lady in a bikini. Oh, she's very pretty. I'll take her advice. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's that, but... The message on this one obviously makes sense. No one ever became great at anything without failing. Mm -hmm. However, not everyone's made to water ski. Mm -hmm. Not everyone's made to, you know, as we learned in the previous one, uh, you know, uh, skateboard Mm -hmm. or snow ski or so on and so forth. Like sometimes, eh, you know, you know what? Put the put the water skis down and get in an inner tube. Mm hmm. And you'll have much more fun. What if she goes, I'll never get to do this. And then Scarlet shows up and she goes, quit whining, you stupid little brat. What if it was that? That would be amazing. Okay. That would be. That would be awesome. Amazing. Okay. Yeah. That would be absolutely. Yeah. That would be absolutely awesome. Uh, And then a shark came and ate the kid. No. The kid or kid spills out on the dock. Um, (laughs) Yeah. That would be controversial. Hmm. I'm running. I'm. I'm putting this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put this one in the stupid. Oh, maybe plausible. Definitely not awesome though. Well, it's a PSA. It's uh, try stuff as opposed to like safety. It's not safety. Right. Here's the thing. There. There comes a point in every person's life that whatever it is they either want to do or love to do, they can no longer do it. Mm. So you want to grow up and you're like, I want to play baseball or I want to play basketball, mm-hmm. and then it turns out. You're, you know, you're five foot three and you're just not going to be able to do Mm -hmm. it. So you have to face the reality that I'm never going to be able to play basketball professionally. Mm -hmm. You know, you could always play. Um, I want to uh, be president of the United (laughs) States and I'm a woman. (laughs) Yeah. Like what, you know, whatever it is, like there, there comes a point in time where, where, where not because you failed, Mm -hmm. But just because life moves on, and so mm-hmm. everyone, you know, you you funnel your your skills into a certain thing, and 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 you need to come to grips with that at some point. If you don't want to do it, well, I don't, she's I don't a know. little I, I kid. Feel really, I feel like you're fast forwarding a little yeah, bit know, for a kid who's like maybe feel, like nine really or ten. On this because it's just it just maybe it bothered her more because she looked like a Polynesian girl, and they're a water loving. Maybe. Group. That and she could feels be a, like, she's like she's letting uh, her whole culture her down. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that is, you know what? I think you're on to something. Scarlet was on a vacation yeah. in Tahiti. Well, Scarlet, uh, in the comics, they would show her going on vacations with Snake Eyes. And Snake Eyes, because he has his face all messed up, mm-hmm. he would wear a lifelike human mask. So somewhere in the background of that is a lifelike human Snake Eyes. Is that so creepy? Yeah. Oh, it's got to be. But it works in the comic books because. Did they do comics. it in. Um, the movies? No. Okay. No, no, no. That's no. alarming. No. They've uh they've been cowardly with treating Snake Eyes in live action and in cartoon with giving him any kind of romantic in the comics. It's controversial. Well, cowardly. Yeah. Well they did, because like it takes a little more effort. It takes a little it's it's more heavy lifting dramatically mm-hmm. to make this guy who's damaged and all, you know, whatever, to give him this human heart side of it. And they avoid that by having her on the cartoon have her be with Duke, and in the movie mm. have her be with uh, Ripcord. You know, okay. like no, you, you can you can do the heavy lifting. We we love Snake Eyes for who he is, and part of who he is is we this have Phantom of guy. the Opera and the movie Mask right. from That's last time. So totally I mean, it. totally, it. we're fine. So, you know, what? I'm going <laughs> to rescind my stupid. I realize I got a little too negative on that. If it is something you want to do, you do need to keep trying and keep failing, and then eventually you'll get it. So I'm just going to say plausible. Though. I say stupid. Oh, okay. Well, it's not a safety. It's not safety. It's not safety at all. Good point. Like, not letting a girl play is kind of bullying-ish. A little bullying, yeah. Yeah, But, like, you don't know how to do it. 
keep trying. Like, yeah. okay. True. Okay, fair enough. You know? Okay, done. So you're saying stupid. I'm going to say plausible. I don't normally say stupid, though. I'm a lady. So I would say <laughs> they're just a big dumb dummy. All right. Well, here we go with the next one. Bobby, my stomach hurts. Oh, I'll give you some of Dad's medicine. It's real strong stuff. That is a prescription for danger. Doc! Never take medicine without a grown-up present. You could do more harm than good. What should we do? If you can, wait for your parents. Or if it's serious, ask a neighbor for help. Hey, Mom's home. Now you'll get help. And now we know what to do next time. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! What's that man doing looking in their bathroom? Thank you. There is so much to unpack with this one. First of all, they animate Doc in this peeping Tom pose. (laughs) That he's peeping into the house. Um, it's not even like creepers. Oh, we keep the dad keeps like I guess you keep yeah. it in the medicine cabinet in the in the yeah. bathroom, but like maybe you put it in the kitchen. You I, you just I, you have a grown man it is, looking in the bathroom. It is straight straight peeping Tom, and be, now they use Doc because he's the medical mm-hmm. officer, so that makes sense. But because the way Doc is animated with those green sunglasses, mm-hmm. he's also the creepiest looking Joe mm-hmm. that in this first early in the early season of early mm-hmm. Joe. Like he looks really weird <laughs> with those green glasses. Yeah. So you've got a, a weird creeper hanging out by your bathroom window mm-hmm. waiting for you to take dad's medicine. Right. Yeah. And terrible idea to take dad's yeah. medicine. That's and terrible. T- well, terrible idea to take the medicine, especially because that, that girl might be pregnant. We don't know. We don't know why her tummy's hurt. She's her. not dating Roy Moore she's a kid I was thinking though oh I wonder if she's getting her period is it her first period could be that she ate a raw turnip walking dead it's a, it's a call back to walking dead you get very gassy if you eat a whole raw turnip I'm just right? letting you know right oh I, I know so oh I know yeah, so there's a lot here and then the kid like this is new levels and I don't mean this in the dirty way of like playing doctor like, why are you prescribing stuff? Why are you saying, take this? You don't feel good. Take this. What? Is, take dad's medicine. I never. I, we we had access. We we had to ask to to take Flintstone vitamins. Oh, yeah. 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 So I think my parents watched this PSA. And we're like, first of all, it's good to not take the drugs. Remember that Second time all, dad was on a ventilator? Yeah. I'm going to take some of his yeah. medicine. Yeah. Second of all, keep the window shut so creeper docs. You know how dad come. talks about his diabetes all the time? Oh Let's take God. that. Let's put a shot in. Oh, my God. Yeah, dad those... says he has high blood pressure. Yeah. Maybe we should. Hey, here's here's something mom calls medicine. It's kept in the cabinet over here in these brown it's bottles. It's called mommy's little helper. <laughs> It helps her deal with daddy before this Viagra have, was this, created. This could have gone that direction too. Of like, sure. This this helps make mom and dad feel better. And then all of a sudden the girl's drunk. Sure. Yeah. And then she loses the baby because you're not supposed it's to be drinking. It's not a baby. What? Okay. That is. I'm, that is. I'm going to say. I'm just saying. I'm not allowed to talk about not, nether regions, but you've been talking about an impregnated 11 year old. I didn't. You don't know how old she was. She's probably nine. We don't know what state. This she hasn't in. even had her period yet. Okay. We don't know these things. I, I'm a woman. I do. <laughs> I know. I know such you things. Can tell. You can I tell. could tell. Yeah. Yeah. You're I think whis- she had a, cr- a she had a cramp. You're a whisper. She had a cramp in, in her. No, it's just a woman. A woman knows. A woman does. A know. A woman knows. A woman does. know. She may have been becoming a woman in that moment. <gasps> and he was going to kill her with daddy's medicine. Oh, my gosh. I, so for, for all these reasons, I'm voting awesome. Maybe his dad used to keep the gun in the bathroom, and that's what dad's <laughs> medicine, medicine is. is. <laughs> and then as the person who who worries about children, I go, oh, I'm joking about that. Boo. Yeah, they're animated. Right. And by the, by this point, this woman would be 45, 50 right now, mm. this young lady. She had and, some curly and, blonde hair, though. She had, like, some oh, curls. Just saying. There's a reason she's pregnant at 11. That, okay. I, I feel like I feel we're, like we're gonna move on. It has gone to we're a new move low. On to the next PSA. What would you say on this one? I mean, it's awesome. You should never take it's someone awesome. else's. I think, yeah. And there was nothing that alluded to the child being pregnant. Nothing. She had. Oh. What was she wearing? She was, was she a, looking slutty? No, in the like background looks... there was an ultrasound. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And a dead so, rabbit. Plausible, stupid, or awesome. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I agree. I, I love Doc just There's in the window. Ultrasound. Yeah. That's the worst, though. That's yeah. terrible. Okay. So we're going to, uh, you know, I think we're going to do just one more for this week. Feel sure. good? You ready? I, like, 
like really good. Like really like good. Really good. Awesome. Here we go. I think I think by the way, awesome for you listeners, you probably know this. It's one of my very much overused words. Yeah, it so is. So on these episodes it's like nine like million. in daylight like, daytime day 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 like day to day too. You said day like seven times just then. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying it's a word I use. I overuse. Yeah, you do use awesome. So in this scenario, I feel like I can get away with it. I it's part of the game. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, here we go with the next PSA on our on our hit list. You okay? My nose is bleeding. Put your head back. That's the wrong play. Let loose. Pinch your nose closed and lean forward. If it doesn't stop in five minutes, we'll pack your nose with gauze and pinch it closed for ten more minutes. If it's still bleeding, then see a doctor. The bleeding stopped. Now we know how to stop a nosebleed. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! They're supposed to lean forward? Apparently, according to Footloose. And is that here's still the deal. a thing? Is that really... Footloose I... should know because Footloose is high as a kite. He's a huge stoner. He like surfer dude, man. Like, oh boy. He's got little... I like to say they're pot leaves, but like if, I don't know if you notice on his helmet, he's got like leaves. Mm. So he knows about he knows about bloody noses from all the cocaine and that he had to deal with. Wow. In the 80s. Footloose is the resident stoner. Absolutely. Like for like in like that. We read into it. Kind oh, of the way. Like okay. they never showed that on the show. But no, like that's imagine. us reading into it. You know, mm. that's us going. Uh, and he also likes big girls. So we should <laughs> <laughs> is that so he's a stoner and he likes hungry. a big lady yeah no. he likes a big lady yeah. yeah no he's you know he's always hey man let's uh you know like he's that guy so and like the, the, the blonde girl from the muppets in yes the, yes, the, yes 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 um janice janice you're absolutely and what right what was the group called the um the rock of fire not rock of fire explosion that was different <laughs> <laughs> um, rock of fire explosion that's was, where the child molesters hang out yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. um they uh yeah the dream Muppet. something the dream uh, dr teeth Dr. Teeth and the uh, Dream Sickles. Dream Sickles, yeah. So, <laughs> so, um, so I think it's funny that Footloose. Something about magical something. I don't know. I think it's funny magical. that Footloose is the one giving the uh, giving the advice on how to stop a bloody nose because he's hung, out, he's hung out with Stevie Nicks a lot. I did not know that Kevin Bacon knew anything about that. Right. So uh, I think it's great. I like the blood. That might be the only time they actually showed blood on GI Joe mm. for real. Well, except for the little girl who just had her period. <laughs> That wasn't period blood. If that she was, was a, wearing was white shorts, it was. It was, a it was not. on its way out. You're talking about it's an terrible. impregnated child. It's an animated cartoon. So I love that they show blood. That might be one of the few times we've hmm. seen blood on the show, hmm. and I can't really think of any other time. I would also, I think it should be, yes, you the bloody nose, but also don't play tackle when you don't have pads. You play flag football. You don't tackle no, or no, two-hand no, no. touch. No, 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 no. That's not, that's not how you do it. No, you play you play tackle when you're a kid, when you're small like that, because your your bodies aren't that big, so you don't like there's not enough mass running around. Like if if you're if you're when you play that type of football and you're in high school mm-hmm. for real, it hurts. Mm. Like it it hurts because you're you're all big dudes. Mm-hmm. When you're a kid like that, you can run around like that. You bounce. That's awesome. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you know yeah, you're, yeah. you're lower to the ground. Skull hasn't connected yet. The soft well, spot. So that's perfect. No, you're lower to the ground. Like it's it's it, that. I'm not as concerned about that. I did think it was going to go that route, though. Mm-hmm. Um, or like maybe like they pile on him and just start beating him. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, man, quit punching your friend. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> um, I never knew that though about the uh, about the bloody about the yeah the blood going back into the brain. I it, is that it, is that why it makes sense. or you could choke on it because you could choke on it because all that blood would go like you're not your swallowing throat. blood is bad for you like that you're you you know like you would vomit it up you yeah. know yeah oh yeah. No, he's right. He's totally right. Really? You vomit up blood? Well, you you're not supposed it? to swallow blood like that. Really? And, and if you if you if you put your head back, mm, yeah, it's post nasal. It just drip. go, yeah, it would just go into your into your stomach, which would be the same thing as swap, like drinking. Oh my god, this is an anti vampirism PSA. Racist. Racists. Um, yeah, this. Yeah, so this is really good. I never. Good. I don't get a lot. Do you get a blood of blood in noses? No, usually just like if it's dry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I never I didn't have a lot of those. Yeah, I've had a few of those. You know, you I mean pop. sometimes when I make magic happen, it comes out of my nose. Like when I have to like defend people. Oh, like eleven. Yeah, like sometimes no, I was twelve actually. Yeah. And <laughs> like in order to get my waffles. I love I, when they I love when they do that in, in both in Stranger Things and um I think they do it in X Men a little bit. 
where like or Sue Storm in either in the Fences Four or I think in the movies they did it where like she'd get a little bloody nose because like that's how showing that she's they're basically saying her brain is hemorrhaging. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. whenever you see your hero get a bloody nose because they're using their power, their brains are hemorrhaging, mm-hmm. and that's we like we like to say her nose is menstruating. <laughs> that's that's how we like to say it, and you know why? Because a woman knows. Because a knows. woman knows. Knows. Oh my gosh! All right, and then you an... talked about what's his name that was in this uh, one? That was Footloose. Footloose. Yeah. Doing coke, but snow job right? was there earlier. I think there's a through line mm. here. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Also, I do like that they use Footloose because he's um he got a few he got a few notable appearances on the show, but he wasn't like a super regular. Did like he, he dance? No, no. Mm. But the, his best episode was um the name's gonna escape me, but it's him and Dusty the Desert Trooper. They get uh they get kind of stranded. Dusty in, the Desert. Well, his name's Dusty, but he's the desert trooper. His name's Dusty. He's great. So and he's in the desert, and his name's Dusty. Dusty. Yeah, and they. Um, I'm gonna kill myself. Well, that's it's that's what we're dealing with. And they get they get. Uh, Is there they, a beach guy in like a Middle Eastern Sandy? nation? They get like hang, they hang out in like a Middle Eastern nation, yeah. and they both fall for the same uh, like princess. What? And then she ends up choosing this other guy over. Yeah, and it's it's pretty great because it's the two of them vying for her. Aladdin. She the chose episode. Aladdin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magic carpet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's pretty great. It was a whole new world. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that's so I like Footloose. I like seeing him used. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say awesome, primarily because it has blood. It actually shows blood on J. Joe. That's why it's getting an awesome. That program. sounds creepy. No, not you know creepy. what's awesome because it showed blood. No, just as a landmark, as a, as a landmark moment, like them actually showing blood because they were able to, like they were doing it. Because I really mm-hmm. can't. In the movie, you see blood on Duke's shirt, but that's a movie that's different from these shows. And but they would show that they would show the movie. During the day, so I guess sort of that so counts. Weird, there was blood gushing in all the scenes in Gem. Just a well, bloodbath. Yeah, but bloodletting. But, but but all the blood in uh, the on Gem, all the blood was synchronized. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely played, Slepsky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well so done. What would you say to plausible. this one? That plausible. Yeah. Yeah. Plausible. I don't think it's a. I don't think it's awesome. I mean, g- good. Hold yeah. your nose. Yeah, yeah. But I'm more on the. Don't tackle each other without helmets. Uh, it's, it's it's I think it's I think it's pretty good. I think because I want them to protect their heads and also their thumbs because that's what separates us from the animals. I love it. <laughs> 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 yeah, true words have never been spoken. Well, listen, listeners, uh, let us know what you think of these PSA shows. We're going to be doing these for the next couple of weeks uh, before we lead into the big movie episode. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. And if you're on the internet, you want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, go to Joe and Joe Pod. Uh, if you want to send me an email, send me an email to Joe and Joe Pod at gmail.com and let me know and what you think. Are we are we nailing it with the PSAs? Are we totally off brand? Are we awesome, plausible, or stupid? stupid. Feel free to say stupid. But either way, we appreciate you listening. Uh, Rebecca, any any final PSA words for this week? No. <laughs> <laughs> PSA well, words. No, no, no. PSA words. Um, any public safety, anything, any safety tips that you want to give kids right now as we head into the holiday yes. season? This is off the cuff. So, yes. Yeah. Wash your hands after. After what? Leave it open. Leave it open. Wash your hands. No, don't leave it open. Yeah. Zip it up and then wash, wash your hands your after. Wash your hands after. Listen, I think that's a great, that's the best advice I've ever Going to the bathroom, listen, yeah. murder. The general question is, listen, if you got to ask. Cooking chicken. If you got to ask, defer on the side of wash your hands. Yeah. 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 I think that's great. I wash my hands of this whole show. And now you Joe, and Joeing is half the battle.